in this video we are going to discuss about port security so what is a port security and how we configure it and how many kinds or how many types of ways we check for the port security so if you see here the switch will learn the mac address of all the devices when it is directly connected to a particular port to allow the traffic through it so you see here this behavior can be a huge risk in the com when it comes to the security because an outside person if he tries to access the port then he can access or he can make changes to the switch here so for this reason port security is introduced here and port security is default disabled on the switches before configuring the port security we should be we should enable it and we should know about how who and what are the violations to the switch here so if you see how to configure the port security here so switch in configuration terminal mode so configuration terminal mode we enter interface fa01 and coming to the configuration interface mode switch port port security so this is the port security how to configure the port security here so coming to the port security is enabled it is applied default that which one of the host permitted to connect at a time so it last for which one host to connect to that port at a time so if the rule is not violated the port will shut down so if the rule got violated that means that one host is not connecting and only one host or any other host is connecting then the port will automatically shut down going with the violation policy here so using the port security feature we can specify here who can connect to switch port how many can connect to switch port and violation action so let's take a look at the three options here the first option would be who can connect so if you know a particular host should be connecting to a switch port then you can restrict the access on that port so that the mac address of the host is recognized here so you see here the syntax switch port port security mac address h dot h dot h so that means you can see that if you take an example here if you want only the host with the mac address 0001.14ac.3298 to connect to the port fa10 on our switch then the commands required will be in such way so if you see that switch configuration terminal entering this configuration mode interface fa slash 1 which enters into the interface mode switch port port security and again it will come into the interface mode asking for what is the mac address then switch port port security mac address as 0001 14ac3298 so by giving this who only the host which need to access the port will be getting access and the switch will be working as normal so coming you can see we have to remember here that command will not add the mac address to the cam table that means as we know that the mac addresses will be added to the cam table on the switch but here this command will not add the mac address to the cam table and when a host connects to the port and sends the first frame here then the source address of the frame is checked again and the configured mac address so here if you see that the frame is checked against the mac address and forwarded the frames to the next hop count or the switch here so the port security provides something called sticky address so what is the sticky address the switch will use the mac address of the first host connected and after connecting to the first host here to the port as a static mac address and only here what happens is that the host will be able to connect to the port subsequently so when you see that the mac address of the first host connected so it will take the port as a static mac address and only the host will be connected to the port subsequently and this command is required here to enable it so what is that so if you see the syntax switch port port security mac address and after giving mac address the information we give it sticky so that it uses the mac address of the first host connected as the static mac address here so coming to the next one is how many you can connect so how many host can connect to that port so let's say we have only one switch port left free on the switch and we need to connect five host to it so after connecting five host to it so if a user instead of administrator connects to switch on the hub then there is a chance of loops created on the on the switch here so it is the best that number of hosts allowed to connect to the switch on that port is restricted in the switch level itself so that the loop is not created so this can be done by using 
switch port security maximum command. So, this command configures that the maximum number of MAC addresses that the source traffic can produce through a port. So, this uh, providing a limitation to the host connecting with the MAC addresses so that the source traffic is minimized here. So, we use this syntax here in the interface mode which is switch configuration interface mode switch port port security give the maximum number of host connected in the switch level is maximum 1 here. So, after giving switch configuration interface mode switch port given as port security given as MAC address and sticky then it will use it as a static IP address. So, coming to example 2 if you see here it uh, when you give an example as allowing 3 hosts to connect to the same time out of which one MAC address is static and other 2 can vary here. So, we give the syntax as switch port port security maximum 3 hosts can connect to that port and switch port port security MAC address and given as MAC address details here. So, example 3 allowing maximum of 5 hosts to connect and also after that simultaneously they should be connecting host can vary that means the uh, static will not be there so that they can vary in the MAC addresses. So, switch port port security we have given maximum as 5 here. So, coming to the last option which is violation action what happens the, if violation of security on occurs on a switch port. So, what if 5 hosts are getting connected on one port but 6 port connect to it. So, when you have configured as maximum 5, but a 6 port getting connected to that 6 host is connecting getting to that port, then the switch can take one of the 3 actions here. So, what are the 3 actions? The first action is shutting down the port. So, the port will be shutting down so that we or no other host can access the port directly. So, coming to keep the port up to do not allow the offending host to connect or receive data here. So, it is protecting the port so that no one is accessing any packets or frames through that port here. Keep the port up, but do not allow the offending host that means the port the port will be up, but any offending host cannot connect to that port and notify the administrator through it. So, after having that enabled and the administrator also will be informed about the port is not down, but the data is not sent to that port. So, the 3 modes can be configured using the following you see switch port shut down protect and restrict. So, this is how the 3 options and the violation action we can configure which is shut down protection and restrict other person sending data through that port. So, these are the port securities which are available on the switch so that we can enable them and configure them.